Good morning, Camber Heights. This week certainly went fast. Today is Friday, April 14th, and it is Schedule D. This is Abby Lou and Caitlin Fox with a few words of wisdom about your education, success, and your happiness. Abigail Adams was the first lady of the White House and the wife of John Adams, second president of the United States. Although Mrs. Adams had very little formal education, she became one of the most educated women of her time. How? She educated herself by reading, by studying, and by spending time with brilliant people. Now listen to her words written 200 years ago. Learning is not gained by chance. It must be sought for with ardor and attended to with diligence. Miss Adams is saying we should look for opportunities to learn and look with ardor, which means with excitement and passion. In other words, we need to get excited about learning and never miss an opportunity to learn something new. Why? Because with every opportunity to learn something new comes an opportunity for a little more success, happiness, and wisdom. With something to think about, this is Caitlin and Abby. Make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. No one is celebrating their birthday today, but tomorrow we want to wish Roberta Stoltz a very happy birthday. Then on Sunday, April 16th, we want to wish three people a very happy birthday. Happy birthday to Isabella K. Lynn, Natalie Sherbine, and Mason Klein. We hope you all have a great birthday weekend. Today for lunch, we will have grilled cheese sandwiches. On Monday, we will have barbecue rib sandwiches. Today, both the softball and baseball team have a game at home against Chestnut Ridge. Game time is 4 o'clock. If you're interested in coming out to watch the team. Today's clubs are 6th and 7th grade girls in a murals, 8th grade social deduction, anime club, FCCLA, 7th grade hunting and fishing, and 6th grade movie club. For the next segment, we want to ask you how much do you really know about your alma mater? First of all, what does alma mater mean? The term is Latin and it dates back to the 1600s. When you translate it to alma, it means dear, kind, or bountiful. And mater simply means mother. So alma mater means your dear or kind or bountiful mother. That is what your school means to you. It is the entity who enriches your life with information. In today's terms, alma mater means the school in which you attended. It can refer to a high school, university, or graduate school. So let's get started with a few questions. What was the first graduation class of Cambria Heights? I'll give you three choices. 1959, 1961, or 1965. The correct answer is 1961. It was this class, the class of 1961, who picked the school mascot and the colors. Of course you will tell me the school colors are red and blue, and you would be correct. But what exactly is the true name of the blue and the red that is used for our school colors? They are Columbia Blue and Scarlet Red. Before we consolidated into one school, we were comprised of three schools. Do you know which three schools and what their mascots are? They were the Patton Panthers, the Carrolltown Mounties, and the Hastings Hawks. Now you know a little bit more about your alma mater. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.